G'day everyone, welcome to episode 4 of the, uh, the Goobers Solo Self Found Hardcore Journey. Now, it still hurts me to know that this character with these slates, um, you know, is dead. Um, I had really a really nice um, knitting needle, uh, I had some pretty okay-ish uh, things down there. I had some really nice crafted weapons. Like, they were pretty decent. Um, and I was starting to get some good stuff. Um, but when I was going for better bases, that's when shit hit the fan and I uh, bit the bullet. So what I've decided to do is this guy only got to rank 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's go the other way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, 8. Eighth on the leaderboards. Not that good. So I have uh, gone back to basics and I've created a boom moto. Now, um, the first one that I created, you know, he died at level 11 because I was really not paying attention. Um, uh, and I had a pretty decent, um, what's that chest called? I don't know. Um, the red one. Anyway, had a bit of energy on it. I had a lonesome on him. Um, and even though I couldn't use the lonesome, I had it on him. And he died. Uh, so I started again. And this is the character that I have. I just got to maps. I had a omniscient prototype. Omniscient prototype. In the stash. So I put that on. I had a lonesome, I took that off at about level 40. Quick look at the rest of my gear, which is pretty horrible. But it does the trick. Uh, I got a pretty decent weapon. Uh, that dropped with minion damage and attack block chance on there, so uh, that was a winner straight away. And my shield rolled pretty good as well with some additional block uh, chance there, regen, uh, two blocks actually, that's a really, really nice shield. Um, so yeah, so I've gone one weapon and shield, because I don't really want to die. Uh, have a quick look at my stats, I'm res capped except for erosion, huge ES. Um, my survivability is pretty reasonable, I have a 97% uh, block chance, 42% spell block chance, and uh, ratio at the moment of 30%. That's about to go to 55. And um, what I found really interesting about this character is uh, it's been a couple of weeks since I played my season starter. But um, the damage is pretty okay. So... I was dealing 9 million deeps on my, or 10 mil, on my level 87 uh, iris. But that was single target damage. And I'm doing 700k AoE damage at level 57 on Boom Moto. It could be higher, however. I've decided to go God of Machines, Machinist, for damage. I stopped putting points into Machinist because I started taking damage. And I want, went with God of War Ronin as my third. Um, it has 25% additional block ratio. So that just means when you block an attack, the default is 30%. Uh, with this defensiveness um, keynote, is that what they're called? I don't know talent, uh, that will go up to 55%, and that's, I can block every 0 0.03 seconds, which is completely fine, because that's pretty much all concurrent hits. Doesn't account for dot damage, but we'll get to that in a second. So I will have 55% damage reduction, which is crazy. By default, blocking absorbs 30% damage. This will make it so it absorbs 55% damage which is crazy. The other things are pretty nice too, but on this one, full defense. 
100% additional defense gain from energy shield, which is nuts. So that doubles energy shield, basically. So we're going to have pretty huge ES in this build and immune to dot damage while holding a shield. So things like God of Might, who gives a shit? It's dot damage. It's not going to do anything to me. Um, and yeah, so I'm really looking forward to that as well as the 55% um, damage reduction from that. Um, a lot of the nodes down here are attack block chance. These ones are spell block chance. Going across here, there's more attack block chance. And I don't know if the damage, uh, if you've blocked recently, even applies to minions, but I'm getting it for the attack block chance. So I want 100% um, chance to block attacks and as much chance to block spells as I can get. Um, that'll come from the shield, etc. I don't know if anything down here really um, does much for us. Um, additional damage for weapons, maybe, uh, because I'll be using isomorphic arms. So hopefully that applies to the weapon, then applies to the minions. That'd be fantastic. Um, I'm not going to use that, so that doesn't matter. Demolisher doesn't matter. And yeah, that doesn't matter either. So, oh, that's nice. And I'll be reserving um, life, so that's just more damage reduction. So Ronan is really nice. When I was looking at um, getting these at the very start, it looks like um, much like the, um, yeah, here it is here. So God of War looks amazing because of these abilities here. Restores 30% missing life when you suffer a severe injury, which is 35% damage. And 30% ES when suffering. In, like, that's just insane. Uh, unfortunately, you have to select that at the start. You can't select it later. So I've gone with God of Machines. So that is my top row selected. Then you can just choose from the bottom three of everything else. Uh, so a bit of a shame. I am thinking you could probably go with God of War um, and Shadow Dancer because Shadow Dancer has some physical damage for minions, which is great. Um, you could go with Shadow Dancer, um, God of War. You probably wouldn't need Ronin uh, or you could just go those three and ignore God of Machines altogether, which would be interesting. Uh, I don't know how effective it would be. Um, but yeah, the dog wants to go out one sec. So anyway, I just want to try a map first up. My build is kind of weird. Um, just the skills that I'm using. Um, it was purely just to get through the map as, uh, calmly as possible. So we notice that I have the, um, Grim Phantoms just popping off behind me, which is fine. They have a purpose, and their entire purpose is just to kill the little stuff. Um, and then when I want to kill something big, I'll pop out my spider tanks, and they do their job. So the uh, they're not doing too well in maps, but in, um, in the campaign, the uh, spider tanks were just one-shotting all the little stuff and I would just drop a uh, spider tank and it would kill the elites. Um, so this isn't too exciting, but um, I'll go through this map, then I'll pause. And much like the other two episodes, if I do something new, I'll bring you along. Um, otherwise I'll keep farming along and hopefully by the end of the day, I'm the number one ranked, um, Boom Moto, or I'll be dead. <laughs> so, you know, two options. Uh, I'm hoping for the uh, the sec uh, the first option. I almost said the second option. Guys, I don't want to die. If I die again, I'm probably going to start one on um, just solo Southbound and um, just see how far I can get uh, that way. 
um, obviously taking note of how many uh, deaths and stuff I have. So I've got two levels from that map, which is pretty cool. Anyway, I'll see you in a bit. Hey! Nice. Seven to go. Alrighty, let's see what the plane watch is like. I'm sure it'll give me a, a hard time. You know, oh, I've got two levels that I haven't spent. My bad. Probably one shot me. Here we go. Oh, he died. What a shame. Well, that's pretty okay. Hit tier three, max life. Tier four movement speed. Two more clicks after that. So four plasticity a, a pop. Got T4 max life, tier four fire res, tier five lightning res. That's not bad. And then I can just um, enchant on something else. Pretty nice. Now, because I'm dumb, I'm gonna jump straight to time mark three. I was gonna do four. I don't think I'm quite that crazy. Um, but let's try a three. See if we die. Be unfortunate if this is how I die. I can definitely do the damage. I knew that. I'm kind of curious if I can take a hit. Oh, bum 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 bum. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That should be pretty juicy when it pops. As long as I can survive. Let's see if I can take one of these. Oh, okay. That didn't do too much, actually. So this seems reasonable. I was trying to stand in damage to see... Like, even if they get through my... Energy shield, I'm not too worried. So T3 viable immediately, which is really, really nice. He says he takes a massive hit. But I didn't die, so... Pretty happy with this so far. Probably won't use that, but... I got a fair few decent ones out of the last nightmare. So what did I get? I got... Self-destruct and minion max life. Oh, my max life. And self-destruct and command. I don't think I'll keep that one, actually. I'll put it in just to see what it was like. Let's get movement speed instead. And then that's still garbage, but that's fine. So I'm a little bit faster now. I still have to do my um, hero challenge. Let's do that in a second. Bard's Wand, hello. Pretty decent one as well. Dragon Guardian's Face Guard. Happy with that. Uh, I'm going to try and craft... I don't need the attack block chance on this anymore. Or probably one of those. I don't know. Interesting. I can roll minion skill on this, even though it's very low chance. Pretty decent minion damage, 71%. Minion max life is great. Let's see what we get. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. I'll take that. Alrighty, so that's what we landed on. Plus two minion skill level. I don't think spell damage does anything. Attack, block chance, minion crit strike damage, and spell crit strike damage. Uh, strike rate, rating, not damage. Um, so that's pretty good. Let's just um, use that when we're 66, I guess. What level am I? 62. Let's put that in the stash. I mean, I don't think I will continue in hardcore if I die, but you never know. You never know. Put that back in there. That's good for leveling. Anyway, 
back to it. We just got, uh, you know, 55% here, which is pretty sweet. Um, up to 60%, pretty sweet. Alrighty, probably a bit premature. I mean, I am 62. This is the level 62 one. Um, so let's just put down a portal just in case. But I think I'll have the tank. I don't know if I'll have the... Okay, I should have the damage and the tank. To do that pretty easily. Good to see. I don't think I'll do the next one because that'd just be silly. Um, I'd, I'd give it a crack if I was uh, in softcore, but um, 68, why bother? Must be time to farm some mats. I just realized that my helmet's kind of garbage. It's um, from level six. Um, so I might do something about that. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on here, but these nightmare roots are on crack. Look how fast they're moving. I can't even catch up to them to kill them. Like, what the hell is going on? And they, these were in the boss room. That's how long I've been chasing these bastards for. Holy crap. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm not even going to get anything that good from this one. Um, but damn. All right, I'll, I'll see you in 60 years when I've caught these guys to kill them. Well, I got what I wanted. I wanted shards to make some decent slates. Alrighty. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the dumbest choice that I've ever made. Um, my character's pretty good, uh, it's very tanky, and when I was doing the, the last one, which is like the 75 one, I was taking no damage, um, I, I'm almost res capped, is that actually cap? Nah, it's up a little bit, 75. Um, <clears throat> I don't have six links, I've modified some of my abilities to be more in line with, uh, like I've got delayed pain now. I've got vulnerability and frost shield going. Uh, I don't have a six link yet, which is a shame. And I don't think they're even optimized. Um, I probably should be using um, the weapon amplification instead. But <clears throat> I'm kind of curious to see if A, I can tank the level 80 hero challenge at level 72 um and if i do enough oh fuck fuck oh no ah damn it yeah that was dumb that character was so strong too 